our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about one of the most controversial issues out there, but we don't think it should be too controversial. It's GMOs. Well, first of all, when we talk about GMOs, most people don't know what they are. Right. And if you do know what they are, you're probably the exception, not the rule. When you look at the voice on the street type things that get done, and you just have to look online to find many of these, people are asked, well, what is a GMO? And they really don't know, but they're scared of it. And that's the big thing. If you're scared of GMOs and you just don't even know what they are, that should tell you something. Hey, you know what? I should really find out what they are rather than just being scared. Okay, so the GMO thing is basically a term that's made up by people who oppose biotechnology. It's called genetically modified organisms. And basically they tried to come up with the scariest possible term to classify something that is modern science and we're trying to make things better, biotechnology. So anyway, when we talk about biotechnology, I just want to give you a real quick example. Okay, for many, many, many years, there has been this natural protein that's been sprayed over the top of corn in organic production that will kill certain bugs. Okay, it's called Dipel. That same type of protein is found in BT corn and all they did was instead of spraying it over the top of the crop, they put it inside the corn it's a protein that humans and livestock can digest just fine, no problem. It's just a certain type of insect can't digest it, and so it kills it because it can't digest that protein. But it's a natural protein. It's used in organic production, but once they put it into the corn, all of a sudden, now we got a problem with it. It's basically the same stuff. So that's where we get a little bit frustrated with, um, hey, we've already got something there, something that already exists in nature, something natural. It's inside the plant now instead of over the top of the plant, and now all of a sudden it's bad. I don't understand why. Well, the big thing is safety, and that's what people are concerned about. Hey, this is our food and right. our food supply. We just want to be safe. So we think about how long have GMOs or how long has biotech been out there? Basically a full generation. And when we look over that full generation, we've seen biotech in a lot more than just corn. It's in a lot of different crops that you probably don't even realize and we've seen absolutely zero health issues arise over the last 30 years. The challenge gets to be with politics and many times with some games being played in the media. We've heard some of the major politicians in our country say don't let a good crisis go to waste and many times when there is some sort of crisis people want to attach whatever issue there is out there to that crisis and they say oh well and more people are getting some certain form of cancer well it must be due to this or it must be due to this or it must be due to this when there's no science to back that. So the big thing that we have to look at in our society is what does the science say is right? All right, and if you don't like the science, let me just give you a little bit of anecdotal evidence. Okay, so Europe has never had biotechnology, and in the US, we have since basically day one. All right, so after 20, 25 years, whatever it's been now, wouldn't you think that if the biotech was so bad that here in the US, we'd be living far less time than the average person in Europe. Our livestock would be far smaller and a lot less productive. I mean, we'd see dramatic differences in that amount of time, but yet we're not seeing those differences, okay? And in all the testing that's been done with actual real science, they're showing no difference between the biotech versus the non-biotech when it comes right down to it. As long as we're using natural things, like I was just talking about using one natural protein instead of the other proteins that are already in there, and we get control of the bug. And here's the other side of this whole thing. Because of biotechnology, and we've got a good, safe, natural protein in there to control bugs, guess what we don't have to spray? Some of the harmful products that did actually get used 20, 30 years ago, they're now off the market. They don't even need to be used today because we have biotechnology. And we do have some safer alternatives today, but we're spraying those far less because we've got the biotechnology. So there are so many good things that come with biotechnology. It allows farmers to produce a lot more food, produce it more safely. It's just, we want you to look at the science. And so don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that we're just going to blindly say, oh, all biotechnology forevermore is going to be good. We always have to continue testing it, but as long as it's been thoroughly tested and we've got actual science to base our decisions on, then hey, if the science says go, we feel you should go. Hey, one last comment that I've got to make, and that's just about organic versus the not organic. I don't care what kind of food you buy, I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. You're gonna make the right choice for your family and what you feel is safe for them. I don't think there's anything wrong with organic products, but I also don't think there's anything wrong with conventionally grown products either. So for me, we aren't taking a side on that issue. I don't think there is a side. It's agriculture. It's producing food for people. I think that's a good thing. So don't send us the letters, oh boy, you guys are against organic. We're not against that, but we're also not against biotech. We think both can be perfectly safe options for you. Well, either way you go, you're going to need to control our Weed of the Week somehow. We'll tell you how to do it on your farm coming up later in the show.